The Retro Television Network is an American broadcast television network that is owned by Lucan Communications. The network mainly airs classic television sitcoms and drama series from the 1950s through the 1980s, although it also includes more recent programs from the 1990s and 2000s. Through its ownership by Lucan, the Retro Television Network is a sister network to several broadcast network properties that are wholly or jointly owned by the company, including the family-oriented Family Channel and country music-oriented network Heartland. At its outset, the Retro Television Network was designed to be broadcast on the digital sub-channels of television stations. However in recent years, the network's affiliate body has been drawn down to primarily low-power stations, as many station groups have replaced the network on the sub-channels of their full-power major network affiliates with similarly formatted networks such as Antenna TV and MeTV, which have assumed rights to many of the distributors that formerly held programming agreements with RTN. The network is also available nationwide on free-to-air C-band satellite via SES2 and DVBS2 format. As individualized transmitter ready feeds for each station are centrally generated using broadcast automation and delivered to the stations by satellite. History The Retro Television Network launched in July 2005 on select television stations owned by the Equity Broadcasting Corporation, a chain of small satellite fed UHF television stations controlled directly from Equity's headquarters in Little Rock, Arkansas. Equity had expanded quickly with purchases of many small stations in the early 2000s, but by 2008, the company was struggling to meet its obligations. In June 2008, while the company was undergoing financial troubles, Equity Media Holdings sold RTN to Henry Luke and Theresa Euro Equity's former president and CEO, and the company's largest shareholder a Euro Lucan Communications for $18.5 million in cash. Equity had an option to repurchase the network for $27.75 million. The purchase option was not exercised and expired on December 24, 2008. Equity had filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy three weeks before the expiration of the purchase option. On January 4, 2009, a contract conflict between Equity and Lucan Communications interrupted RTN programming on many of its affiliates with Lucan alleging that Equity had left many obligations to RTN's creditors, including programming suppliers, and paid. As a result, Lucan restored a national feed of the network from its Chattanooga headquarters with individual feeds to affiliates not owned by Equity following suit on a piecemeal basis. Equity owned or operated stations lost a TN affiliation though Lucan vowed to find new affiliates for the network in the affected areas. The Retro Television Network changed its on-air branding to RTV in June 2009. In 2012, Retro dropped from 120 to 80 affiliates with many ABC affiliates switching to the LiveWell network. The network was rebranded as Retro TV in 2013. Concept and Programming Since its creation, RTN's principal programming concept consists of classic television series, initially maintaining a 24-hour schedule of shows dating from the 1950s to the early 1990s along with rarely seen older programming. There have been some deviations to the format, including during the network's ownership under Equity, which added some original talk programming during the late-night slot on weeknights from the summer of 2008 to early 2009, a concept billed as classic hits all day and fresh talk all night. The network has also featured originally produced horror film showcases such as Wolfman Max Chiller Drive-In and Offbeat Cinema. RTN also aired the talk show Daytime produced by WFLA-TV's Riverbank Studios in Tampa, Florida. The show starred co-hosts Jerry Panacoli and Cindy Edwards. By June 2011, when RTN's distribution agreement with MPC Universal Television Distribution ended, the network adjusted its schedule to feature programming from other distributors and public domain programs, as well as more recent programs, and reality and documentary programming. RTN also features a Saturday morning block of vintage cartoon programming. RTN's current programming roster draws from various distributors including Classic Media, Genesis International, Peter Rogers Organization, and Sony Pictures Television, as well as Stay Creepy Productions and John D. Slow. 
The network previously had major content deals with CBS Television Distribution until July 2008, and BBC Universal Television Distribution until June 2011. Until 2011, RTN offered a customized schedule for use at the discretion of the local affiliate. By June 2011, when RTN's relationship with NBC Universal ended, the network moved towards a set national schedule, although affiliates have the option to preempt or reschedule some network programming. Affiliates As of April 18, 2013, RTN maintains current or future carriage agreements with approximately 90 television stations in the United States. While the network's primary strategy is carriage on digital sub-channels of local broadcast stations, only 22 stations within its affiliate body are presently full power stations. RTV is also seen on approximately 70 digital low power stations. Prior to the 2009 digital transition, RTN was seen on a number of analog stations owned by Equity Media Holdings, the network's former owner. Some equity stations mixed RTN programming with first run and recent off network syndicated programming or also carried another networks such as My Network TV or Ion Television. References External links Interview with RTN